K Black Boston coming to you another video. Uh, this the uh, post fight of um, Anthony Joshua and, and Carlos uh, Taco. Um, let's say Anthony Joshua is gonna win, man. I, mean, I ain't have to do a lengthy, detail uh, breakdown because I already knew what was gonna happen. Taco was the last minute replacement. Pull up, pulled out. Injury, and um, you know, Taco was a game opponent. I definitely thought that possibility into Joshua was gonna uh, wash him a lot quicker, but he still got the stoppage. Was a stoppage stop early? Yeah, could be, but oh well, man. I mean, we we already knew it was gonna happen. There's no way that Taco's gonna get the victory anyway. It seems like in a fight, the referee was definitely um, trying to go with all, uh, trying to stop the, he was going to go for the stoppage, you know what I mean? The referee was going, he was, he was trying to see in any part of the fight where he, where he could stop it, you know, I mean, I know he, Tyson got knocked down in the fight, he even got a cut, the referee said to, to see the doctor multiple times in the fight, I believe, and a part of the fight, Tyson, I think he asked him a question, and a, the referee even asked him right to the nerve, do you, do you want to continue? I mean, so he was trying to find a reason to stop the fight. So the 10th round came. Anthony Joshua didn't win barrage of punches, you know what I mean? Taco wasn't hurt, <laughs> but he stopped it anyway. Oh, well, I guess he's seen he, he was protecting him from himself. But, you know, the thing is, there's no way, especially in, in the U.K., you can have, since Joshua got a 100% knockout ratio, you can't have him. Going the full distance with a fighter who's supposed to be quote unquote inferior, you know, so it, it's not gonna be a good look. But you know, hey, it is what it is with that. Oh, they did a post fight, you know, basically asking Anthony Joshua what he want to do for next year and all of that, and you know, he said he want to get the belts. You know, he's basically was saying it's all whatever the the fans want me to do. You know, where you want me to go? Do you know? Do you want me to go to Scotland? Do you want me to go to uh, stay in Britain, you know, and ask them about Vegas? You know, I guess they really wasn't enthused about that, you know, and they even talked to A.D. Hearn as well. And A.D. Hearn basically was saying he want to keep him over there in the U.K. Uh, that's where his fans are. He's a big draw over there. And he said he definitely want to, he said he do want to see the other title holders, which is Parker and Wilder, and also Tyson Fury. You know, they keep on putting Tyson Fury in there because it would be an all breeding type of fight. You know what I mean? And uh, you can see, by, you can hear by my voice, though. Man, I ain't enthused about this shit, man. You know, I, I'm being honest, honestly, man. I was watching the fight, man, but there's no hate. You know, even if y'all do see it, say, I don't give a shit. Y'all going to, you know, y'all going to think what the fuck y'all want to think anyway. But I really wasn't enthused about the fight, man. I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, 254, he came in. I know they, they kind of basically, uh, I guess, put that as, like, he says he's, he's still growing at the age of 28. And he believed, you know, he thought he was going to be lighter. And I, I don't know what's going on. He, he think he's sweet right now, man. He He's taking in all of, he taking in all of, uh, the glory right now. He, um, he he landed go to his head, you know. Everybody hyping him up and he's believing in it. You know, he did look bigger, you know, and you know, I ain't say he was tired or anything, but he um you know, he, he you know, man, he, he paced himself real well because he was able to do it against that particular opponent. And that's what you got, man, you know. But is a weight because he, he weighed more because he, you know, like I said, it's probably, you know, take, taking in into the success that he that he's uh that he's gotten in the last couple months. Plus he been I ain't gonna lie, man, I haven't seen anything he said I haven't seen anything Joshua in a long time. It's saying that Klitschko fight happened a, a long time ago. You know, I know it was only about six months, but dang like I haven't seen him in the ring in a long time, man. And I guess he's taking on the blueprint of all these damn fighters nowadays, man, fighting once or twice a year. You know, nobody want to fight multiple times a year, even though Eddie Hearns said he wanted to fight, fight him three times next year. But these guys don't want to fight multiple times, especially when they get titles because they don't want to take, get to the, you know, they don't want to lose. You know, the more you fight, the more you jeopardize 
the opportunity to lose. Even if you fight a person that's you're supposed to uh, just wash, you know, any a punch they can call lucky can can slip through and get you out of there. So these guys are truly fighting once, maybe twice a year, man. So I don't know, especially when they start getting money, like they get the titles and stuff. So we'll see, man. Um, we'll see how everything goes, and we'll see if they are men or they word for next year. Uh, we know Wilder fight uh, next week against the Vern, and we'll see how they go, and we'll see how his demeanor is after he fight uh, the Vern, man. This K Black Boss, and I'm starting to like, comment, subscribe.